All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Pros next go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's going on, everyone? Incap24 here from Huddle.gg. In our first several videos for Madden 23, really concentrated hard on Cover Zero Press because a lot of people were uh, asking for solutions there. It was a lot what people were seeing online, and it's definitely something that you know we'll continue to do as people ask for it. Now, this video is actually something that we're starting to get a lot more comments on Cover Four Quarters um, because that's something that a lot of people are running as well. Now, Cover Four Quarters, Cover Four Palms. Uh, a lot of times they're match coverages. When people put the match setting on, they can be tough to beat. And then also, you know, they can put it on default and it's also tough to beat because it's gonna play more like a drop coverage, right? Now, because you have two different settings, I wanted to simplify it for you, where I'm gonna give you one type of uh, route combination that's going to go ahead and beat both of those in this video. So you don't have to worry about, are they on match, are they on um, default? Um, you know, we wanna make sure that we give you one setup in order to make sure you beat both, right? Now, if you're not struggling against cover four quarters, you definitely wanna stick around for the video because I'm gonna show you how I like to block four man pressure in order to give ourselves a little bit more time to throw this because anytime you're taking a little bit more of a shot down field uh, for a cover four bomb, you need to be able to have the time. Um, it's much more of a risk this year. I'm gonna show you what I like to do personally to give myself a little bit more time um, and it's been more consistent for me, okay? So the play is gonna be called slot drive out of the gun Y trips offset. And the um, coverage I'm gonna call is cover four quarters. I do have match on right now, okay? I already put the setting on match so that way you understand it. Now what we're gonna do here is we're going to put the RB on a streak and we're going to go ahead and block our running back. The first thing I wanna make sure you mention is that we want the trips to the short side of the field. It's gonna work that way. You don't want this to be on the left hash mark where the trips are to the right because they'd be the wide side. So if you're on the left hash mark, you'd flip the play. Second thing I wanna make sure you understand that we have a four by one. What does that exactly does that mean? We got four receiving threats, count as, you know, counting the running back as one to the right side of the ball, that's gonna shut off match on that side of the field. So what we're gonna do basically is now that they have match shut off, we're attacking as if they don't have match on. And the last thing we're gonna do is actually the uh, pass protection. We're gonna double team the defensive tackle on the side of the running back. That's gonna give us two double teams up front against both of those tackles, leaving the two outside players to be one-on-one -on -one with their respective players. On the left, we're gonna have a tackle on a defensive end, what we would expect every single time, right? On the right side, we're actually gonna have a running back on a defensive end or outside linebacker, depending on what type of formation they're in. And that usually doesn't bode well for us, but because we have a tight end that's basically next to the tackle, the guy has to take a wider angle and it gives us an opportunity as a running back just to be a speed bump, get in his way, allow us to step up in the pocket to be able to make this throw. And that's all we're looking for, right? So let me go ahead and show you how it works. I wanna kind of go over what we're expecting to work. So when it does work, you understand that it is by design, right? So let's go ahead and hike the ball. You're gonna see here, you're gonna kind of step up in the pocket. You can see how we're going to be able to throw this guy pretty easily right in that little hole, catch that ball, and get up the field for the easy score. Now, I'm going to show it to you on replay just so you understand how this play is working and why it's working, right? So, on the right side, let's first start off by talking about the O line. We've got two double teams up front, right? We're securing ourselves an opportunity right here to say, we want to give ourselves the best opportunity possible to stop those guys. If you have a post up on those players, that's going to help even more because they're not going to split those double teams. But you can see here that we got those guys there and we're letting those guys go one on one. On the right, we're, we're terrified. That guy's going to beat our, our running back every single time. So what we want to do is we want to take our full drop. Then we want to step up. As we step up, we're basically getting him to get walled off. And you can see that we hit this um, S post right at the hash mark. See so how yeah, we hit him right at the hash mark? We catch this and we get ourselves a nice, easy touchdown against cover four match, right? Just as we drew it up. As I change this, I do want to make sure that um, I uh, point out that this is a play in our Ragusa 6 uh, spread offense. It's something that it's not just about running the ball with your quarterback and, and jailbreak screens and read options and motion swings, which is really fun and it, it really puts a lot of stress on, the, on your opponent. But we do have a lot of dots in there as well that we want to make sure that when you have the opportunity and once you get them selling out in the run, that it's going to open up everything. And this is just a sample of that, right? Now, what I want to change up is making sure that the match now becomes a default coverage, okay? So we're going to go into cover four quarters and do the same thing. 
Now, I do also want to mention that this is not just a cover four quarters bomb. This will work against cover four palms. This will work against cover six, um, where the cover four side is on that side because if they play auto flip on, it's going to be. So this is basically a cover four match meter more than just a quarters. But since everybody was asking for quarters and quarters is the most things you're going to see, I wanted to label it as that. So we'll do the same exact thing. You can see here we put the RB on a streak, block our running back, double team that player. And what you're going to see here is that you're going to be able to kind of step up in the pocket, wait for this B to come across, and you got yourself the easy one play score. And most of the time, when people are playing cover four quarters, they're not going to be looking to cover that man um, because he's the far outside man and they're basically going to be looking more for underneath stuff. So from my experience, a lot of times people just don't go back and cover like they do for cover three when they see a deep player because they're expecting their four safeties to be able to stop the outside player. And that's why this is so um, effective and whatnot. I do want to make sure that you guys do look at that blocking. Um, it's going to work this way the majority of the time for you. You know, obviously, you know, Madden 23's O-line is not always going to be um, something that's that you can count on, but you're giving yourself the best opportunity to have these two double teams up front. You wait for this guy to come over here, you know, you step up in the pocket, and you know that that running back's not going to hold his block very long, and then now you're going to be able to throw this ball to that player, get yourself um, that big yards that you're looking for, in the situations you need this in, dial it up. Obviously, there's a risk. But a lot of times in this way that you can run it, the reward is definitely worth it uh, when you're playing somebody that is running this type of coverage.